I never thought this day would come. But I actually bought my first ever Pokemon cards. It wasn't just buying Pokemon cards, but I bought out a very small collection of vintage Pokemon cards that go back to like the original, like I think it's the 1999 base set. And uh, I'm gonna give right now a huge shout out to Dr. Applesauce, Will, who actually I reached out to um, and talked to him about this set, or this collection that a viewer reached out to me that wanted to sell it to me. I reached out to Will, Dr. Applesauce, and I said, hey, what are these exactly? I don't know anything about Pokemon. I know nothing about value, no idea. And I said, you know, here's all the pictures of what he sent me. Is this a good deal? And uh, he helped me quite a bit. He taught me pretty much some of the basics. And uh, he said, yeah, grab this small collection. Grab it. It's, it's decent. So that's what I did. So the raw value of what this is valued at I think was around 850, if I remember correctly, was like the value of all the cards raw, not graded. But what my hope is, my hope is that quite a few of these are in fantastic condition so I can send them off to PSA to get graded. And once I grade them, the values of some of these could skyrocket. There are some Charizards in here. That's about the only one that I knew that might have value, but Dr. Applesauce will He's the one who told me, okay, this Charizard in the picture is from the base set. This Charizard is from like a fossil set. So huge shout out to Will. He helped me out with purchasing my first collection by giving me the information that I didn't have that I needed in order to, to, to actually buy this. But you know, this is a small collection that a viewer reached out to me about and asked me if I, if I wanted to purchase it. Um, I got it for a very good price. And even if all of these are not like grading worthy, I could still turn a profit on these because no, I'm not keeping these. I bought this collection just to resell because I do buy out sports card collections, I guess Pokemon collections now. I buy out Funko Pop collections, comic book collections. And so if you've got a collection you would like to sell, feel free to reach out. I don't buy every single collection because uh, like with Funko Pop, sometimes the collection is you know, 400 pops and 350 of those pops are common pops worth like 15 bucks or less. Most of those I'll pass on because that's just too many common pops that I can't get much more than like five or six bucks for. So, but I mean, if it's super, super heavy and just common cheap pops, I'll pass those. But as long as it has some decent value to them, you know, pops that average like $20 and up a pop averaged out, I'm interested. I'm a buyer. So yeah, reach out to me. If you want to sell a collection and we can negotiate and uh, if you do reach out like with Funko Pops let me know the total PPG value what you're looking to get out of it send me pictures of the collection you know or your PPG like link so I can look at everything and kind of decide how much I would offer for it so same with comics and like with Pokemon cards sports cards kind of let me know what's in it the condition of everything and uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying so. Here we go. I say it's a smaller collection. Uh, the person I bought it from, his name was. Let me actually look it up. Yeah, he worked with me for quite a while. He was kind of funny at first. I actually passed on the collection at first because I don't have any knowledge on uh on Funko Pop or not Funko Pops, um, Pokemon cards. I don't have the knowledge that I felt comfortable buying a collection now without really knowing what they were worth. Okay, here it is. Yeah, well, here it is. Uh, his name was Chris. Chris Squitteri. So yeah, shout out to Chris for working with me on, on this deal. Like I said, when I first bought it, or he reached out to me, I actually passed on it because I don't feel comfortable buying something if I don't even know what I'm really purchasing. So. But then after doing some research myself and realizing that it's more than what I can find out quickly, reached out to Will, Dr. Applesauce, and uh, yeah, check him out on YouTube, Will, Dr. Applesauce. Very informative channel to do with Funko Pops and Pokemon and collectibles. Check him out. 
here we go. He wrote on there, Pokemon cards. I was thinking there's like 30 or 40 cards in here, I think. Look like they're nicely packaged. They are all in sleeves, so that is awesome. Let me go ahead, let me turn over to the cell phone camera to see some close-up views of these cards. Okay, so here we go. Just pulled them out of this tin. It says Pokemon card. I said it's it's a pretty small collection, but it's mostly older vintage cards from like a base set and fossil set, probably other sets I don't even know about. But here's the first one. We have Dark Hypno. Looks like that's a foily looking card. Uh, what set it's from? I'm not sure. How to do some research on that. Then we have that's a cool looking one. Zapdos. Looks like this one is 99. So if it is set. Oh, I've done so much research on Pokemon cards. 102. So this one is from like the base set. This one's the base set because of, I think, I'm pretty sure of the 102. Let me actually see kind of condition of these. Yeah, he said that these are pretty much like uh like near mint to mint condition. Um yeah, so far these do look phenomenal. Next we got Venusaur. Looks like it's also from base set. I think there was also a couple in here that were from like uh, the original one, like the first edition issue. There is a Raichu. Looks like that one's also from the base set from 1999. And like once again, condition on these. I mean, these do look really good actually. Let me actually pull out this first one. Then pull out a pack, kind of see. Because centering is huge on all cards. Even on sports cards, centering is big. Back of the oh yeah, yeah, this these cards are unplayed. These have not, not been played in like uh any kind of tournaments. Like a little bit of like white on the edges there. But yeah, this yeah, these cards really are clean. He wasn't joking. These cards are clean. So that's awesome. Cause I was hoping that these would be fantastic condition cards. So I could actually send them off to get graded by a PSA. And hopefully I get some back, you know, with some fantastic grades. You know, some PSA 9s and PSA 10s, hopefully. Here we got a Polyrath. Looks like this also is from the base set. Polyrath. We have Nine Tails. Also from the base set. Looks like most of these actually are like foil looking cards. Like, or hollows. I'm not sure really what you call these things. I have to do research. But there's some that's like hollow, some reversed hollows. Because I've been watching like a two peas in, in a pop. They're unboxing the Pokemon cards just to try to learn some. And you know, they talk about like hollows and reverse hollows and all that stuff. Nick Night Nido King? <laughs> I guess. From 102. So that's also what's on top of that card right there. I don't know what that is. The top right there. Looks like it's actually it's on the card. I guess that's normal. I don't know. Okay. There's a Mew Mewtwo. That's also from the base set. Looks like that's also kind of like a holographic. Cool, cool. Base set. Then here is Hit Motion or something like that. 102 looks like these are mostly all from base set. I'll have to go back through after this video, look up, you know, some value on these. Uh, or actually, actually look up like PSA 9, PSA 10 values. These are actually are in really good shape. Yeah, he, like the who I, Chris, who I bought these from, even said that like these are all near mint to mint. Like they were never played with. They were just basically been stored away for like 20 years. And yeah, I, I do believe it. These are fantastic condition. Another base set, Chansey. Interesting. Oh, there's the first Charizard. First Charizard. This one's from the base set. And looking at it, it actually looks pretty good. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Here's the two, the two Charizards back to back. So this one is from the base set Charizard. I think this one sells raw for like 200 bucks. In like pretty good condition. I'm mean, actually I have it pulled up right now on eBay. Actually, I'm seeing some that are damaged going for like 200 bucks. Um, ones like this looks to be in super 
high condition centering on it. Let me actually look at it a little bit closer. Centering on this thing, the front of this thing, the centering is really good. Really good centering. And then this other one, I think the other one is what you'd call a, I think this is the fossil set or something like that. I do some research. This is the base set. That one's like the fossil set. Let me very, very carefully pull this card out. Careful. Touch it by the edges. Don't drop it. Let me see the back of it. Let me actually do it. Oh, that's actually nice. Hardly any white showing on the edges. Centering that thing. It's not perfect. It's probably about 60 40 centering, I'd say. Top to bottom is probably about 50 50. Oh, this one's a high grade Charizard. Yep, that one is a high grade Charizard. Yeah, that one's going to grade pretty high. That was my hope was that these things would grade high. And yeah, that's going to grade pretty high. I'm actually going to put that into a much better protector. After this video, here is the other Charizard. I think, I forget what that means. It's like, maybe it's fossil. Once again, let me carefully take this thing out. Don't want to risk any damage. Okay. On camera. Centering on that thing is pretty freaking good. Look at the backside centering and condition. Oh, that center on the back. That's pretty good centering. Like a tiny white speck right here. Tiny one on that side. I mean, super small. Oh, I think both these Charizards, I bet you would grade at least a PSA 9 on, on each Charizard. Those are nice. Let me put that one down carefully. I'm going to put those into much better cases to protect them before I send them off the PSA. Let me go back to the actual stack. Let's see what else we got. We have Nido Queen. This one looks like is, I think it's Fossil. I could be wrong on that. It looks like he actually he has them separated out between the two sets. Let me put the base set over there. Nido Queen, like some of these, you know, if I can get some nines and tens on these, some of these might sell for a few hundred bucks a piece. But like my goal was hopefully these were super high grades. So I can send them off the PSA and uh, you know, who knows how much they, they, they might be worth after that. Who knows? Wiggly tough. Yeah, these are these really all these are in fantastic condition. I mean, they are nice. Zapotos, Aerodactyl. Well, that's a that's a different symbol. So I don't know. <laughs> I did the research, but I know like that one though is the base set from '99. And that, that's like the second Charizard to come out. It's like that one. Like that one, Raw would probably go for. I'm just looking at Raw. Looking on eBay right now. I'm seeing somebody selling a near mint Charizard for 270 bucks. And then, like, here's one that's damaged that sold for 200 Uh Hollow Foil Rare sold for 909 Shadowless Charizard. Is mine shadowless? I don't even know. I have to do more research. But it looks like this Charizard alone, minimum of 200 bucks. Minimum of just that one, that one card. Ditto. Oh, that one says first edition on it too. There was a few that were first editions. That's a first edition, whatever that, that might be fossil. Ditto. Here's a Gengar. Well, these are all like hollows or foils. Hunter? All hunt, hunt foils. Magneton or something like that. Then Moltres. Muck. <laughs> Some of these names are actually funny. I've never like done Pokemon in my life. There's a Raichu again. 
yeah, these are all in, yeah, these pretty much, I think, whenever he bought these 20 years ago, he bought them, put them right into these sleeves, and kept them in that tin for like 20 years now, because he said that these things were fantastic condition, near mint to mint, and yeah, I say, all these are pretty much like mint condition. Mr. Mime. There's a different symbol on that one. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure. Nido Queen. Pinsir. Snorlax. Interesting name. Power. He is thick skinned. Vaporeon. Victreble. Vile Plume. And another Wigglytuff. So that is all the cards right there. So that is this small Pokemon collection I purchased. I'm very happy with the condition. Those are fantastic. So I'll be excited to send uh, a lot of these out to PSA to get graded. And let's see what kind of grades I get back to see if I can turn my investment into a whole lot more. So stay tuned. There might be a part two to this coming up in the near future. The Pokemon bad guy out.